Okay, we head east now where crews right now are working to free the 117,000 ton cargo ship that's stuck in the Chesapeake Bay after multiple failed attempts. Right now, they're trying to lighten the load by removing all of those containers from both sides of the Ever Forward, which has been stranded at this point for more than a month. News Nation's Evan Lambert is live along the Chesapeake Bay. So, Evan, how long do crews think it's going to take to actually offload those containers? Nicole, this is a big job. We understand it's going to take about two weeks. That is according to the U.S. Coast Guard, who has been coordinating this for a private salvage company. Uh, but we saw some of what has been going on today. Again, the goal, as you stated, to try to lighten the load and then dredge around the bottom of the cargo ship and tug it free from where it has been stuck. News Nation today getting an up-close view from the water from a boat. This is as close as we have been able to get to the Ever Forward. And you can see the action, the heavy equipment cranes being used to lift those cargo containers one by one and put them onto a barge and then sail that barge to a place near the port of Baltimore where this is unloaded. The Coast Guard saying over the weekend when they began this work so far they've moved about 43 containers that private salvage company 43 containers the goal is to remove 500 lighten the load and then try to free the ever forward it is stuck in about 18 feet of water we understand that it needs about 40 feet to be able to float again now this whole thing it's caused a bit of a tourist attraction but not everybody happy with it we spoke with a couple who spends time eating lunch here they say it's blocking their view many times yeah. we've been here this is a place that we sit and we eat and we look at the beautiful scenery, except for that's not so beautiful. <laughs> so we took a walk, thinking that it would be gone by the time we got back, and it wasn't. And Evergreen, that company that owns this ship, they have invoked a maritime law called General Average. And what that means is that anyone with cargo on board this ship has to share in the cost of freeing it. And we understand from a cargo captain that I talked with last week that this has got to be an enormous cost. He could not even give me an estimate. Nicole? An enormous cost. We know those crews are working hard. All right, Evan, thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.